Dear Oprah, I'm calling you out. I think you put something ridiculous and very weird on your favorite things list. And I'm here to tell you, we're not having it. Not this year, Oprah. Not on my watch. Now while my name is Becca. In the process of changing my last name, so I'm just gonna keep it at Becca. Hello there, it's your friendly neighborhood Becca, back again for another out of In the Kitchen with Becca. On November 2nd, 2017, I, like every good and true American, went on Amazon.com to see Oprah's favorite things. Now follow me here. I'm on Amazon.com. The first thing I notice is Oprah. You killing that cover. Look how fabulous she looks. Look at that skirt. So right in the middle of this fabulous list of wonderful holiday gifts. What? A turkey? A whole smoked turkey? I get food like sausages and cheese and all. Neil's grandparents get a basket like that for us every Christmas. It's fabulous. Please never stop doing it. It's so good. So I was intrigued because I had never really heard of this before. So I click on it. It starts at $49.50. What? And then I realized that it's $49.50 for just a six pound turkey. One, it's so expensive. But two, I'm like, okay, so what's so spectacular about this magical online turkey? Which still is very odd to me. Our fully cooked natural smoked turkeys arrive ready to eat. Ew. We use a family recipe of all natural spices placed deep into the meat for a one of a kind taste. I don't know, sounds fine. The rich mahogany color comes from up to 16 hours over hickory wood fires that slowly cook each bird. I saw that, I thought it was ridiculous, and then I realized that I have a smoker. Thanksgiving is coming up. Why don't I try to smoke my turkey? Now, again, a disclaimer. I don't know if I've just been kind of living in my own world and not really paying attention, but I never really knew that smoked turkeys were a thing. But still, it's so expensive for something you could easily do at home. So, I did. Now, I would like to point out my friend Lexi Worley. What up, Lexi? It would be best if I smoked my own turkey and then tried their turkey, but yeah, I'm not about to do that. I ended up going to Safeway and buying a 9.8 pound turkey for $22. So if I wanted a 10 pound turkey, smoked turkey, it would be $71.50. Yep, $71.50. So I wanna take this idea and run with it. I wanted to kind of make my own recipe and smoke my own turkey and see how it went. And it went a little something like this. So you're gonna take the biggest pot you can find, this is my giant stock pot, and you fill it about two thirds of the way with warm water. This is what I look like when I bake, by the way. You're gonna put a cup and a half of salt, just under a cup of sugar, two cups of soy sauce, some leftover orange juice for a holiday kick, and some cranberries for a more holiday kick. So this is gonna be our liquid brine. We're gonna put our turkey in there and we're gonna, we're gonna soak it in the brine overnight. The next morning, you're gonna lift it triumphantly out of the fridge. It is heavy. And then place your turkey on some, a rack with some paper towels. And you're gonna dry it off as much as possible. Then you're going to salt and pepper liberal. Next, it's the smoker. Watch it, smoke it! Oh, forget, you forgot to clean it. All right, so we're gonna stuff our turkey. We're going to, we're gonna put one half of an onion, one half of an apple, and a couple pieces of garlic cut in half. Next, we're gonna light up the smoker and let it get up to temperature. We're gonna take about a paw full of apple wood chips and pecan wood chips into our smoker box. We're gonna put that in there so the smoke can start getting smoky. Next, we're gonna pluck a thermometer in our bird and put her in the smoker. About an hour later, I'm gonna come check on the turkey and replace the wood chips. I'm gonna do this for the first three hours. I'm gonna come in and check and then replace and then put new chips in. 
to keep a smoky flavor. Look at that bird. While that's going, light up the stove, put it on medium, and make a mop sauce. So I'm going to melt a stick of butter. Add one chopped shallot, two big cloves of garlic crushed, and let that start to brown. Then I'm going to add some diced apple, some parsley, a squidge of lemon, stir to combine salt and pepper liberally and let it brown. Once it's brown, you're going to check your turkey and start mopping it. So I did this about halfway through cooking and I went and mopped it about every 30 minutes. So I'm just going to, after about four hours at 250, I double check the turkey and it is done. Oh my god, almost dropped it. Okay, we're good, we're good, I got it. You're now listening to a Bobby Johnson beat. beat. What you smoking? Now that the turkey is done, I'm gonna bring it inside, baste it one more time and then cover it and let it rest until I'm ready to serve. Now what was nice is that my husband actually came home at home after being gone for two and a half weeks, so it was really nice to cook this special dinner with him, but first, he got reunited with his best friend. Okay, so it's dinner time. I, my sides are prepared and it's time to carve the turkey. So I'm gonna go in here and get my first slice and it's awesome. It's super pink, you can see the smoke lines here, especially as you cut in now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut big chunks and wait, what is this? Oh no. So I thought it was just missing a gizzard bag, but there's the innards. Well, I got smoked innards now. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm just going to carve up the rest of this turkey for dinner. And you can see just how juicy it is. You can see the awesome smoke line here. The really nice tender skin and someone's watching me. What a good girl. Survey says. Mm. That's real good. Is it good? That's really good. That's real good. With a husband seal of approval, we sit down for a wonderful dinner. Now, the next day, I actually prefer the turkey on a leftover sandwich. So I'm going to take some nice homemade bread I made the previous day with a really good crumb structure. Cut two big slices. Now this is just for the video. I recommend cutting this in half. Butter these slices on both sides, flip them over, and then use your cold gravy as kind of like a mayo mustard type thing. So you spread the gravy or on, on the slices. Then you put some cheese. I'm using provolone, but I actually prefer fontina. They were just out. Put your turkey slices down. Start to spread some cranberry on the turkey, realize that's not working, and then, light, or then just spread the cranberry on the gravy slice. Put it together, and then grill on a pan until it's crunchy and delicious. 
So that was my smoked turkey. My first time ever making smoked turkey. Overall, it went really, really well. I think it was just so cool to cut into the turkey and see that pink smoke line. And I do like the fact that I deviated from the Oprah recipe of hickory smoke. I feel like that would have been way too smoky and just kind of going with more poultry friendly woods, which was my pecan and apple wood. Overall, I'd probably give it about a six, 6.5 out of 10. Now my Gordon Ramsay roasted turkey recipe that I use for Thanksgiving is, is 10. That is good. This is not gonna replace my Thanksgiving turkey, but it was really good. There were a few things I liked and a few things I didn't like, so I'm gonna go over those now. Some of my cons probably would have very easily and very quickly been fixed if I had looked at any recipes, but I realized as I was sitting down to eat it that I did absolutely no research on this. None. I didn't look at a single recipe. Was that intentional? No. I just got too excited and a little overconfident and just said, hey, I know how to smoke delicious chicken. Let's just do the same thing with turkey, but then just like throw some cranberries and orange juice in there. You know, what are you gonna do? So let's start with pros. Pros, the smoky flavor was delicious. The meat was super juicy. The skin had really, really good flavor. The skin was thinner and it stuck right on the meat. So, I mean, it wasn't crispy, but it really captured the juiciness of it, which was amazing. It made really, really good sandwich turkey. I actually prefer it as a sandwich <laughs> instead of just eating it. But I also make a bomb ass sandwich, so. You know, cons did get a little dry towards the bone. I think that was a couple of things. One, I started basting it halfway through and then just towards the end. I should have been basting it the entire time with my mop sauce. I also think I went a little over. I think I cooked it a little too long. I probably would have pulled it when it still had about five to 10 degrees to go. So that way as it sat and as it rested, it got up to temperature. But I will say though, when I cut it, I mean, I tried to catch on the video, you could see and even just touch it, it was still so juicy in the majority of the birds. So another one of the cons is the flavor didn't really knock me off my feet. I think the smokiness was nice, but I think using some sort of rub to kind of get it to that next level, aside from just relying on the smoking and smokiness and then the salt and pepper, would have been nice. And that's where the I think the lack of preparation really uh, came in there. But oh well, it's cooking. It's fine. For twenty-two dollars for the turkey, I think it was fabulous. And now I'm really excited because I have two smoky wings and the gizzard to make a really nice stock for my Thanksgiving meal um, coming up in a couple weeks and I tried something new and I got to call it Oprah which is a statement I actually never thought I was gonna make in my life but this is where we're at so this is another episode of in the kitchen with Becca something that I was really excited to do and that I've been planning kind of this faux Thanksgiving <laughs> opportunity and if there's something either on Oprah's favorite things list or on your favorite things list or recipe you really want to try out let me know I have a full list coming right now I have recommendations from Lexi Worley from Beth Winchell from Jill Fritz backed up by Jason Grow, Andrea Worley I'll make recipes for you I'll take that off your hands I've got time my name is Becca and this is my kitchen it's really dirty right now so it's good stay out of focus Kenneth do you want to do my dishes she's asleep I don't want to be asleep subscribe Rebecca, don't curse. Mom said not to curse. Oh, fuck.